it is shaping up to be a busy winter. Usually this time of the year we're slowing down, we're taking it easy, we're pushing snow, making plans for the summer, but this year we just haven't been able to slow down at all. It just seems like one project after another. Today we're moving equipment to a new job on a commercial piece of property north of Sandpoint. This project has been a while in the making and we're looking forward to it. It's a little different than what we normally do. This project has a lot of clearing that needs to be done and there's a lot of tree work which means a lot of stumps to dig up, a lot of slash to burn, and a lot of trees to process. But first we're going to need to move all the equipment up to that site which is an eight and a half acre parcel. First order of business is going to be to get in with a big excavator and start to sort out the big trees from the little trees. We'll leave the big trees standing to be cut down a little later but first we want to make some room with the excavator by going around and picking out all the little trees and we'll push those over and pull them up and and crunch them up a bit, break them up with the excavator and start to consolidate all of that slash and all of those trees into a pile that we'll call the burn pile. That's where everything that we're not going to keep will end up and we'll make an effort to light that burn pile and try to burn all of those trees and limbs and other small bushes and trees that that we're collecting around this property as we're doing the clearing. Usually we can move equipment pretty quickly but this year with the amount of cold weather that we've had and the snow it is a tricky operation trying to get equipment moved. The other day I was working on getting the road grader moved got the road grader started, it was warming up, was able to drive it up the road and got it on site then parked the road grader came back the next day and the motor being warm and snow melting off of the machine had gotten down into the brakes between the brakes and the calipers and had frozen solid took a took a little bit of work but we were able to finally get it free of the ice and cold and we're able to move the road grader so it's it's little things like that that seem to slow up the process it's the unforeseens and and the the em environmental things that really seem to slow things down like slick roads and cold temperatures that just make things really, really difficult.
And this job is going to take some time to to clear eight acres, or probably it's probably not a solid eight acres. But there's certainly five or six acres worth of trees that are going to have to be cleared off of the property, and it's going to take a lot of work. Initially, it goes pretty fast, getting the trees pushed over and digging up stumps and piling slash. But that's just the start as you've still got to manage that slash pile and try to get it burnt. And it is difficult to get slash piles to burn when everything is wet and green. And so we probably won't be able to get a lot of burning done. Uh, Right now, we'll probably burn up all of the small stuff, the, all of the needles and the limbs and, and the smaller stuff, and we'll be left with a, a big pile of stumps and, and larger logs. And that'll probably have to dry out through the summer. And then the end of the summer season, maybe right after our first snowstorm, it should all be dry enough that we could go out and light it on fire and it would be dry enough to really burn well and get hot enough to to consume everything but then even even after it burns it'll take time to then repile resort and and burn it again and then even after it's all burnt down there'll be a lot of cleanup work to do in order to get rid of that the charcoal and some of the stump pieces that didn't burn um, so it it is it's pretty quick and easy to just burn the slash pile but to really get it cleaned up uh, is going to take quite a bit of work it'll probably take this summer season and we'll be in the next summer season before we get it all cleaned up and and taken care of with this much acreage and the trees that are on there um, we'll probably there's probably three or maybe four loads of logs that could go to the sawmill um, not really sure on that yet as I haven't really gotten a good count of, of what we have and how much of each kind. It's going to be a really busy year. We've got a lot to do, a lot of projects to work on. Looking forward to taking you along and sharing it with you guys. Thanks for watching. Let us know what you think down in the comments. Remember to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next video.